Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Here tonight to chat about this new Hillary Woods album, Birthmarks. Hillary Woods is an Irish singer-songwriter. She's a former member of Irish alternative rock band JJ72, who ever since she went out on her own has always intrigued me as a solo artist. Her early EPs, like the Night EP, were a little rough around the edges, still far from where they should be, but had a lot of great characteristics. For example, they always had a lot of patience to them and they were just very eerie, very sort of gothic singer-songwriter album. Not to mention, it might have just been me, but I felt like she had such a presence to her. Her follow-up full-length debut, 2018's Cult, had a lot going for it as well. There was this just incredibly sweeping, mystical feel to this entire album that I did get caught up in. And her vocals, more often than not, really did just hit the spot. But for me, I left myself at the end of the album kind of disappointed. I wish it was a little heavier, a little bit more crushing maybe. And I wish that she kind of took time with a little bit more of her atmosphere work. But that's just me though. Now, these new singles on the other hand have been right where I wanted to hear Hillary from the beginning. Let's chat about this new album. This album starts off with Tongues of the Wild Boar. And for me, this is a really exciting start. I really always prayed that Hillary would take advantage of her patience testing skills and start to work with some more bigger atmospheres. And here we are. The pacing is absolutely masterful on this opener, as this one just sort of plods along with these immense sounding strings and whimsical keys. Like this, for me, is exactly where Hillary should have been to begin with. It just sounds like the soundtrack to some incredibly twisted, absolutely gutting A24 horror flick. And at the center of it all, it's just Hillary sounding so commanding. This track excites the hell out of me, and I could say double for its follow-up, Orange Tree. Once again, there's a very slow-paced, immense folk tune. And man, some of the lyrics on this track are absolutely riveting and really bring in together some of the darker and more personal themes of this album. It's a fascinating combo that's a gigantic knockout, and I can't tell you how much I love the sweeping melodies and the very dense atmosphere all around Hillary. It's just the sort of very dark, ethereal folk music that I personally love with a really interesting left hook thrown in with all these very personal lyrics. In every way, this is exactly where I wanted to hear Hillary right now. When it comes to Through the Dark Love, honestly, you can cut this tension with a freaking knife. It's incredibly noisy and chaotic from time to time, but also oddly beautiful. There's also a great sadness to this album that should not be ignored by any means. It's whimsical, it's lovely on the ears, and it's also super dark. Just the perfect soundtrack for a sort of dark fantasy environment, as cheesy as that sounds. Now, for me, sadly, I still wish this track maybe was a little bit more hulking, a little bit more bulkier, but still, this is right up my alley. With Lay Bear, as soon as this track gets started, I'm just on the edge of my seat. When I'm listening to this album, I genuinely feel like I'm watching some really gutting, really, really gory, dark fantasy. I don't know where it's going to go next. And let me just get this out there. The pacing on this entire album as a whole, as it has been in the past, is one of Hillary's strongest characteristics. And I love the way on this track that her vocals just sort of whisk their way in very slowly, start chanting. But it's also one of the most beautiful tracks here without giving a single ounce of its atmosphere up. This is great. Mutton Stones did take me a little bit more of a while to really come around to. I felt like the intro to this track was a little long. And you know what? It is. However, I do really, really, really love the saxophone work on this track. It reminds me almost a lot of like Colin Stetson's work on the Hereditary soundtrack. And the hypnotic grooves and the rhythms and the drums on this track. This is gutting. And like I said, this track did take me the longest probably to get into, but it is very effective and undeniably unsettling. I literally just feel like I'm sitting around just waiting for some freaky ritual to start. A lot of the same vibes carry over into the mouth, but even more intense. This one has some more instrumentals thrown in there, as well as a lot of harsh noise. Love that. And Hillary's chanting, once again, very beautiful, but also incredibly unsettling. Now, her vocals here, they are a little bit more of the spoken word territory, but they're just as cutting, just as twisted. With each passing moment, I genuinely feel like this album is getting darker. Even the final moments here of just ambient sounds is great. Cleansing Ritual starts off really exciting with a lot of harsh noise once again and some chaotic instrumentals. For the first time here, and this is really sad me saying this, this track is kind of cheap. It's actually my least favorite track here. Like, this track goes on for over four minutes. 
But while the rest of this album is just such a great, radical experience with tension and atmosphere, this one really just kind of sounds like B-list heart. It's nothing but cheap thrills with nothing behind it. Not to mention, it's usually Hillary's performance that takes a very normal, ethereal folk track and pushes it to the next level, but her lack of presence here at all really makes this kind of a bummer. But There Is No Moon is a very effective finale. It's also a pretty tender and sweet ballad. Of course, there are some very straight guitar licks as well that kind of get me back on the edge of my seat, but Hillary's vocals are just so small, so bruised here. It's just so unnerving and inhuman sounding. I do sort of wish that this maybe was a little bit more intense or grandiose of a finale, but still, this is a very effective finale and kind of a great place to end the album off on. So by leaps and bounds, Hillary Woods has come into her own on this album and is sounding friggin' awesome. The instrumentals are heavier, the atmosphere you cannot cut with a knife, it is just a real genuine experiment in tension and it comes off really great. My only real gripe with this album is its length. It's pretty freaking short, and I honestly feel like Hillary can still do more in the future, get noisier, get a little bit more brooding, but still, like, this is exactly where I want to hear her right now. I'm feeling a light eight on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.